Hello. If you are watching this video, chances are you are new to World of Tanks. Today we will be discussing tactics you can use in battle to make your enemies look like idiots. Some examples are angling, side scraping, and scouting. The latter is not suicide scouting. First, we should talk about looking at the mini-map. Yes that thing in the bottom right of the screen, it is important. You look at it to see where you are, where your team is, where the enemy team is, and where the nearest body of open water is. Just kidding, don't drown yourself, there are far more effective ways to suicide. When looking at your map, you can see where you need to be to be the most effective which is not by yourself trying to hold off a whole flank. Next, we shall talk about scouting. No, not like that. There are two types of scouting that you should use in World of Tanks. The first is passive scouting which involves finding a bush from which you can see your enemies but they cannot see you. It is very important to remember that you can't fire as you will give your position away and you will be executed. The other type is active scouting which is not suicide scouting and this involves moving around to avoid shots and spot the enemy by having them shoot you. Evasive maneuvers will be your friend and it is important to keep your distance and minimize your exposure. It is important to know what type of scouting your tank is best at. For example, French light tanks have poor ground resistance values and lose speed when turning while Chinese lights have much better acceleration and keep their speed while turning. Therefore, French lights passive scout while Chinese light active scout. In addition, not all light tanks are scouts. The Covenanter is fairly slow compared with the looks and should be played more as a medium tank. Now we shall move on to bushes. No, not those bushes, these bushes. Bushes are like invisibility cloaks, when you have one, chances are the enemy can't see you. However, if you fire from a bush, the enemy might see you unless you are an E25. When you are sitting in a bush, you can see through it so when you fire they can spot you, but if you are sitting back away from the bush so you can't see through it, then they can't see you through it and it provides a camo bonus even when you fire. The exact number for how far back you have to be is 15 meters or 50 feet if you prefer that system which is not used in World of Tanks. Finally, we shall talk about armor. When talking about armor in World of Tanks, there are three primary tactics you can use, angling, side scraping, and going hull down. These tactics don't work in all tanks, some like the Rhine Metal Borsig Waffentrager cannot angle because all it does is give the enemy more to shoot at because it has armor made of cardboard to start with while the Wolverine can't side scrape because its side armor is so bad that gun above 51mm in caliber can pen it. Before we know how to angle, we need to discuss why it works. If you have 100mm of armor that it flat, its effective thickness is 100mm. However, if it is hit at an angle of 60 degrees, the shell that hits it has to go through 200 millimeters of armor and has a high chance of bouncing off. Okay, now on to angling. Depending on the tank, you can park at an angle to the enemy to not give them something flat to shoot at. This has the effect of making the overall thickness of your armor thicker so they have a harder time penetrating your armor. It is important to know the thickness of your side armor in order to know the best angle at which to angle your tank. We should also talk about the overmatching mechanics in World of Tanks now. If an armor piercing shell has a caliber that is 3 or more times wider than the thickness of your armor, it will automatically penetrate. If an armor piercing or high explosive anti-tank shell hits a surface with 70 or more effective degrees of armor, it will bounce unless it overmatches. The effective angle is determined by the normalization of the shell. Normalization reduces the angle of the armor by cause the shell to turn to reduce armor angling. Armor piercing shells have 5 degrees, armor piercing composite rigid shells have 3, and high explosive or high explosive anti-tank shells have none. Onto side scraping. Using the auto bounce angles, 
you can use some solid cover to cover your front while you show an extremely well angled side. When the enemy bounces off your side, you can then pull out to expose more of your tank to shoot back. Now, it is also worth noting that your turret front is usually the strongest part of your tank so if you can hide your hull in a hull down position, you can use your turret to bounce shots. To do this, you need a ridgeline or some small cover. Now you know some of the basics of World of Tanks. Go play randoms, grind up the tiers, kemp bush, and pet your stets.